Okay, so next thing then is stress. We all have it, comes in different shapes and forms. Stress is relative to the person. Um, some common ones, obviously we stress financially, bills, things like that. You've got kids, high pressure job. But um, adding in training and nutrition can become a stress as well or is a stress for people, especially if you're not used to doing it, okay? So you're stressing the body out when you come in here. And then if you're stressed at home, but you're kind of expecting yourself to be able to recover, it's not going to be ideal, okay? You don't want to burn the candle at both ends. Um, we can help you with different things and how to kind of manage stress. Um, we want you to get the best results possible. So yes, we're going to ask you to train. Yes, we're going to ask you to track your food. But we'll give you the easiest way possible to do it. And then if we can help maybe manage your time outside and you need some help, just ask one of the coaches. This slide just shows all the different types of stresses that could be happening in your life. I mean, family, wives, husbands, you could be sick, um, plan a wedding. It doesn't necessarily have to be negative. It can be a positive thing, but it's just high stress and hitting deadlines and things like that. So just be aware that yes, you are coming to the gym and it's a positive thing and you're taking your nutrition or taking hold of your nutrition. That's also positive, but just not to be too hard on yourself. Um, you need to try and find your stress sweet spot, okay? And that is basically what can you do that your body can kind of tolerate or manage and that you're getting stuff done. So we don't want to be too low stress if you look at this. Um, the guy is sitting on the couch not doing anything. Um, he's probably lacking in motivation. And then you have this sweet spot in the middle. So, you know, someone who's outside, playing with their kids, work's probably good, you know, and you can pay the bills and things like that. This lady then on the right-hand side, she looks stressed out of her head, going to presume maybe exam time or look, she's trying to hit a deadline in work or something like that. Well, you throw training and nutrition on top of that, so new things that she's got to learn, you know, the results are probably going to be counterproductive. So you're not going to recover, you're going to be tired, you're going to be stressed out of your head. So we'll just pop onto this next slide. Um, I really like this quote, that's why I put it in. So the best time to relax is when you don't have time for it. Thought it was really, really good. So de-stressing. So here's a couple of things that you can do. Apart from, I'm just going to mention, re-nutrition is prepare. Don't leave it to the last minute. Don't starve all day because you forgot to do it last night. That's a stress in itself. Okay, so just prepare. Be organized. And plan your day tomorrow, even the next day. The things that you can do to de-stress and kind of, you know, help with stress management. Go out for a walk on your own. I would advise, to, to be honest, to leave your phone at home. But look, if you're listening to a podcast or music or something, um, put headphones in. Off you go for a walk. 40 minutes. You know, and try and relax. Yoga. Some people find it really, really relaxing. Um, meditation. It could be five minutes in the morning um, where you just stick your headphones in. You can just loads of apps that you can um, use to help meditate in the morning. Just, you know, to gather your thoughts before you kind of take on the day. So me time. And I put that in because me time is, I suppose, whatever you enjoy doing. Um, that might be just sitting in a room with no telly on if you've got kids and they're at school and you just take a minute, sit, have a cup of coffee or tea and just, you know, take a deep breath. Could be a spa, going for a massage. You know, what works for you? Some people use these adult coloring books, you know, just to forget about anything but just what's in front of you. Um, try and find what works for you. And if you're kind of struggling, you know, you don't know how to de-stress, you think you're kind of highly strong and, you know, you don't really know how to manage your time and the nutrition trains all getting a little bit much for you. Don't just think that you have to do that on your own. Come in and chat to one of us. We can definitely, you know, give you some advice um, that you can, you know, implement straight away.